Hey, Joey Richardson here. I am uh, talking about the Braves trade deadline moves. Starting with least important, which would be getting a catcher for depth purposes, John Ryan Murphy, who I think was with the D-Bats this season and I had seen limited action at catcher. He isn't hitting well, and he's more of a depth, you know, he's on the brace for depth. He probably won't see any action or much action unless Flowers or McCann gets hurt. McCann's been the best catcher out of him and Flowers, but John Ryan Murphy's stats aren't really impressive overall. He's a crew 219 hitter, I believe, or something like that, so. And he doesn't, he only, he's gotten 28% of base runners thrown out. So, for his career, so that tells you he was only 1-4 to four this season. So that kind of tells you that the Braves only have him for doubt in case McCann or Flowers gets injured. What I will say is, we just gave cash back to the Arizona Diamondbacks. That's it. That's just all there was to it. I mean, this one wasn't really worth the discussion, but we are going to go with the first move made for bullpen, and that would be acquiring Chris Martin and giving up prospect Colby Allard. Now... I'm okay with that because I heard Aller wasn't a very promising prospect and had velocity issues with his fastball. So he um he might be a good one or well maybe he what I mean meant to say is he might not have been promising in Atlanta. But he, his change of scenery could help him grow as a ranger or if he's dealt before he comes up again. He was one of the prospects, he was a prospect, one of the three prospects we gave up. Well, three of, I guess he was one of the three or four prospects we gave up. I think he was like, we gave up three, uh, between the three trays that I'm about, that I'm on the first of three that I'm about to talk about but yeah um good bullpen help for sure he's got four saves but he wasn't a true closer but is is not too bad probably be a seven or eight inning guy we'll see so I'm sure he, he is much better than some of the guys that were pitching out of the bullpen. So we'll see how Chris Martin does in a Braves uniform. So giving up Allard, uh, it's okay. So the next one I'm going to talk about is the trade made with the Giants. Nope, didn't, didn't get Madison Baumgartner. Instead we get reliever Mark Malankin who uh, used to be a closer with Pittsburgh. Yep, he was the Pirates' closer a while back, but that's been like, that seems like forever ago since he closed with the Pirates. But he, I don't even think he's a closer anymore. He's just more of a reliever type. But he, I had, I, I believe this is a good boost. We give up Dan Winkler, who... Showed promise last year in the pigs as a reliever, but got auctioned down early this season. And uh, we did give up another prospect, and I'm trying to remember his name. Tristan Beck? Yeah, I think that's who we gave up. One of our uh, prospects. He was our number 17 prospect, I think. So, yeah. He's a, so we did give up a, a prospect and a guy who had been auctioned down the AAA. So he hasn't. Dan Winkler hadn't been up since being auctioned 
Or maybe he came up once and went back down, you know, since being optioned. But he was okay to part ways with. And it's okay that we did get rid of a prospect here. And uh, the most important bullpen tr trade was, yes, the Braves had now have a legit closer. Shane Green from the Detroit Tigers. Uh, it was much needed after Luke Jackson blew a save today. I was thinking, we we certainly do not need Luke Jackson as our closer, or we're not going to get far in the postseason if he was to remain the closer for the rest of the season. So getting Shane Green from the Detroit Tigers, 12 walks and 43 strikeouts. That's a good... He strikes 43, he struck out 43 batters and only walked 12 batters. That's a good strikeout to walk ratio there. I'll take it. And the ERA is not too bad either. It's either like a 1.18 or a 1.22 ERA. He's 30 years old, so we hope he can be a closer for a good while. Hey, Heck, in this league, you can be a closer at 40 if you wanted to. So, heck, I'll take a 30-year-old closer who's proven himself with Detroit, who actually sold at the deadline. So, this was a good move. It uh, The Dodgers actually wanted him, too, but the Braves were, were able to get him before the Dodgers could. So, what did the Braves give up exactly? Um, we gave up an infield prospect and a pitching prospect. I think we gave up a pitching prospect. We may have given up an infield prospect as well. I don't know. But we did give up. We gave up. We didn't give up much. We gave up a couple of prospects, but that's what you expect. I mean, Shane Green as a legit closer with like 32 saves, I think. I mean, he had plenty of them, despite being on a team that's not very good. But Luke Jackson, well, I don't know what his role will be with the team moving forward. But getting Shane Green and some back-end bullpen pieces certainly makes you wonder where Luke Jackson will stand as part of the bullpen rotation. He might only see action if the game's out of hand or... If the Braves are losing, but don't ever. I hope once we get our relievers, we just traded for in our closer, that I don't have to worry about Luke Jackson closing out a game again. That would be a worst case scenario after these trades are made. Who to send down and who to keep up? That would be a good question as well. We'll just have to see. And I, I, I know we didn't trade for a starter. I know the Braves did not trade for a starter, but it's okay, y'all. Just be confident in the stars we still, the Braves still have, and hopefully they'll do well. And maybe we do make a good postseason run. I hope we get out of the first round, or at least we win more than one playoff game, and get it. Just make it interesting. But I do believe with those bullpen pieces, if they perform up the standards, that is a much better bullpen than what it was before. And we didn't give up a ton, but we did give up some prospects who could have turned out well or maybe not. But you never know with prospects. But like I say, the bullpen moves were better than the catcher depth trade, which wasn't even a big deal really but that is important when it comes to later on in the year so it's good to have that so I just want to say y'all I really enjoyed talking about this and I just want to see how the rest of the season goes for Atlanta maybe this will make a difference maybe it won't we will see Hopefully the Braves will be able to hold a, their division lead now that they got some help in the bullpen department. So, alright, so 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you want. You can you can do all those things if you like, but it just depends on how much you like sports. So I just want to say go Braves, and hopefully we can get to a World Series or even win one. We'll see. Bye, y'all.